Helping Seniors Television, all about improving quality of life for seniors. If you're a senior, know a senior, or plan to be a senior, then this show is for you. It's all about helping you develop your own aging plan so you can age actively and with dignity. Helping Seniors Television, from the Helping Seniors Network of Information, Education, and Resources. Welcome to today's edition of Helping Seniors Television from the Helping Seniors Network. Whether you are caring for a senior, are a senior, or just plan to be one, we hope you'll enjoy today's program. Helping Seniors TV program host Carrie Fink catches up with Nicole Hajaj, the CEO and Clinic Director for Restore Life Regenerative Care. Restore Life focuses on healing pain and injury associated with aging and disease. I'm Kerry Fink with Helping Seniors TV, and we're having a great day. We're on location at the Mega Senior Expo. This is taking place at the Melbourne Auditorium in Melbourne, Florida. And what a great show this is. There have been hundreds and hundreds of people through the doors today visiting uh, dozens and dozens. I think it's like something like 70 or 80 different vendors and uh, tables of information that are available here today. So we have seniors from all over the county who have been getting good information on so many different topics. There's some amazing things going on. There's been entertainment on the stage. They've had uh, a senior fashion show. It's just amazing the things that are out here and resources available to seniors. And as part of Helping Seniors Mission, we're always out and meeting the public and doing the best we can to help seniors develop an aging plan that is correct for their own particular circumstances. And so with that uh, as kind of a backdrop, we're very blessed to have some really good people here with some good information and good answers for seniors for situations that they're trying to resolve. And, and we were able to pull off of the floor for just a few moments, or actually I think you came directly over from the office. So I'm here with Nicole Hajaj from Restore Life Regenerative Care, and thank you for being with us on the program on today. And before we go too far into what, what you guys do as an organization, I just want to talk about your own journey and how you came to say, this is a place that I think I can offer benefits for seniors in our area. Very good. So I have a pretty extensive background in the clinical side and in the side of new technology and medicine. So I worked a lot with venture capital companies and looking at new technologies. And what I realized quite early on is that there's a lot happening that we don't do in the U.S. as far as medical treatment. And there's a lot that's not accessed that probably should be when it comes to treating the patient for chronic pain and for other conditions, uh, many of which have no treatment for currently. So I looked at that and ways that we could address that and restore a life regenerative care. It almost is our mission statement, though it's quite a mouthful. We are looking to restore someone's quality of life through regeneration. So the goal is to treat the body itself, not just the symptoms, not just put a Band-Aid on the source of pain to help the body heal itself. You know, it's interesting. We do our television shows. We broadcast on uh, Space Coast Government Television 18 times a week. So there, uh, there is a uh, broadcast component of what we do, but we also put our shows on a Helping Seniors YouTube channel. So people are finding them later and then sharing them and saying, here's a good program. And I was just thinking, as you were saying that, one of the one of the most often searched topics that we see pop up as, as far as the videos viewed is people are trying to work through pain issues. And what I'm gathering is this is one of the reasons why somebody would give you a call because you are uh, kind of at a forefront of technologies that might help in that, in that respect. I, I would say so for sure. What w our goal is, pain is an alert from the body. It is our bodies telling us that there's something wrong. It is our bodies trying to heal and maybe there, for some reason, we're not able to heal on our own. So our goal is to help the body do what it was born or made to do, which is heal itself. And you can do that with regenerative therapy. So our goal is not just to cover up the pain, it's not just to get rid of the symptoms because ultimately you're doing more damage by doing that. We want to help treat the actual condition. You know, and I was looking at some of the things that you guys list as the different types of treatments and things that you do. You really have like a comprehensive approach to it. So walk me through if somebody was watching this TV program and all they know is, wow, I'm dealing with a lot of pain. You know, maybe I've, I've kind of maxed out what I'm doing with pain pills, things like that. What kind of a person would call your office and what would they, 
what would who would you look for that say this is the kind of person I believe we can help and how would they access what you guys could do to help them so we really call ourselves treatment of chronic pain though we are not pain management we still fall into the category because it's a very broad scope we don't just treat orthopedics or skeletal mm -hmm. issues we treat neuromuscular issues like fibromyalgia something that really didn't have many answers before we treat neurological conditions like trigeminal neuralgia this really, it's, it's a very broad scope of chronic pain. So that's why you see that list. And many of them are very different from things you would see in a general orthopedic mm -hmm. office or something, though we do treat the joints as well. Mm -hmm. So really, if someone is suffering from chronic pain or has a very recent acute injury, they would find themselves in our office and it usually is of great benefit. Okay. So like if somebody was, so they would be a person that's saying, I'm tired of living with a pain situation. Let me give a call. What would be the process they go through? They come in, would sit down, would have some sort of an evaluation, get an understanding of you guys would get an understanding of their situation and then help them develop a program that might give them the relief that they're trying to go go with. Absolutely. So we offer a free consultation in the office where somebody can come in, they can sit down, we will go through their history, we will go through previous surgeries, treatments, or medications they've used for said condition. And then we will determine, number one, if we can help them. Uh, that's first. Once we've determined if we can help them, we give them an idea of how successful we think they may be, if it would be a one-time thing, if they would require follow-up treatments, and they have a basic roadmap of how they would want to proceed. We give them all the details then, uh, and, and then they become patients usually. Our patients, it's an exciting time in medicine for us because we have a third coming, a third going, and a third that stay with us. Wow. So we're not seeing the influx of patients that has to come in over and over right. repeatedly for treatment. And, and we like to see that. Although we love our patients, we like to see them go. <laughs> I, I, get, I get that. I get that totally. So the question would be, if somebody isn't really familiar with what you guys do, they might ask the question, is this surgery? What am, what am I calling you guys? Is it going, what are the things that I would expect for you to to talk to me about if if I'm coming in with a pain with a, with saying this is my problem my shoulder or or a fibromyalgia case what are the things that you might be looking at as possible ways to assist them so we offer quite a few different treatment regimens and of course it depends on the right. condition we're dealing with what we try to do is establish a combination therapy to treat what, whatever we're treating, whether it be neurological or orthopedic or musculoskeletal, we try to adapt to what the problem is. So it may be different for everyone. We do use the most or the least invasive, the most non-invasive sure. techniques uh, that are available. So about as deep as it may get or as invasive as it may get is an injection. We don't do any surgeries. We're not cutting anyone open. Mm -hmm. So that's the good news. Uh, uh, with some conditions, we may be able to even avoid injections altogether and use a combination of laser treatment, myofascial release. We do a lot in the way of that for fibromyalgia or something okay. like that. I was going to ask you that because, again, reading the list of the things, many of them are like, they're, they're very advanced for me. But as I understood, you have a lot of different tools at your disposal to assist somebody. It's not just like one size fits everybody that comes in. That's exactly right. For example, with somebody suffering from migraines or from facial pain, we may use a combination of a SPG block that targets the nerve in the face along with laser treatment. With somebody that is looking to avoid joint replacement, we may use stem cells and or platelets and laser treatment. So we combine a therapy that is targeted towards their specific problem. We like to customize our treatment as opposed to just use a template for each person. Right. And then too, it sounds to me like you're really staying on top of kind of cutting edge technologies that maybe even 10 years ago or 20 years ago weren't available as as ways to do things. Absolutely, I would say 90% of what we do wasn't available to the general public even 10 years ago. So we are changing and growing 
constantly and regenerative medicine in general a lot of people don't even know what that is but yes. regenerative medicine as a field of science is changing so quickly it's hard to keep up with but we do our best with continuing educations and training sessions so if somebody was thinking like wow this sounds I, I'd like to get up to speed I'd like to see what options are available to me I would really like to get out of pain what would, what would they do? What would be the process that you would want them to take? So we have several options because obviously people pursue things at different levels of comfort. We have, our website is very comprehensive. It helps people, it has a lot of videos. We offer weekly lunch and learn seminars. Oh, wow. So that's nice for people that really want to learn a lot about the science before sure. they go out and dig in. They're not quite comfortable coming into the office yes. uh, before they w w learn more about it. So we do offer the weekly lunch and learn seminars. Okay. Those are advertised on our webpage as well. Okay. Uh, we also have complimentary consultations in our office, so you can call the office directly and book one of those consultations. So, And that might be a good way to work your way in. First, visit your website, which is? www.restoralife.com. Okay. And then maybe avail yourself of some of the materials that are there, get a sense for that, then perhaps maybe attend one of the Lunch and Learns. And then probably with that, you're like, okay, I'm ready to, to, to get serious about seeing what I can do here. It's true. And many people find themselves coming to the Lunch and Learn because they want to enjoy that lunch. Sure. And then they realize that this is something that would be very beneficial for them. And it's Absolutely. within their ability to do so. They come in, they have a complimentary consultation at that point. Right. And then they become a patient usually very quickly. Yeah. And I imagine you guys have many, many good success stories of people who have who, who you've worked with and really made a serious impact in, in how, how well they feel afterwards. We are quite proud. We have a lot of those testimonials on our webpage. Those are actual patients. Uh, we have a lot of them in our office that are written firsthand from the patients and their experience and their story. Uh, and, and some of them are very scary, sad stories about how they were their chronic pain and their journey with chronic pain before sure. they came to see us and then to see them on the other side of that is a wonderful thing. That part must be very fulfilling it for is, you I would for think. For sure. Yeah well I was gonna say we just probably have like a minute left but I was gonna say and that must be part of the reason for being here at the Mega Senior Expo is this gives you an opportunity to introduce to people who may not even know that this is something that could be revolutionary for them to kind of get a sense like hey guys you may have not understood there's another option out here. Well, you're right about that. And what we're finding is that regenerative care, a lot of people have the misunderstanding that sure. that is directed towards athletes or people of very, okay. very young age that are looking to just be um, back in their sports career faster, back on the field sooner. And that's actually not the case. What we find is our practice is full of patients who are retired, they do not want to have chronic pain. They want to enjoy their life, and we're able to help them achieve that in most cases. So we, we want to get that word out. We want seniors to know that this is an option for them. That's good. Well, thank you for taking time to join us on today. It sounds like there is a reason for, for hopefulness, and people should really take a close look and see what, what resources and information might be available there on the website. And so thanks for taking time out of the, out of the day today to be with us on Helping Seniors TV. Thank you very much. Thanks. It was a pleasure. Now more of Helping Seniors Television from the Helping Seniors Network, informing, educating, and connecting. Helping Seniors TV program host Carrie Fink talks with Valerie Clark with Eye Clinic and Laser Institute about how they help with LASIK, cataract surgery, and general eye care. I'm Kerry Fink with Helping Seniors TV, and what a great day this has been. We're on location at the Mega Senior Expo. That's taking place here at the Melbourne Auditorium in uh, beautiful downtown Melbourne, Florida. And so we've been having a great day. It's been a very well-attended event. Um, really a lot of good information. We've had something like 70 to 80 different vendors and information tables. So there have been hundreds and hundreds, I think someplace between 600 and 1,000 uh, seniors have been through the doors today to get information that will help them in developing their own aging plan. And so we've had 
the pleasure throughout the day of visiting with uh, various people who have been part of the event. And today I have the privilege of sitting with Valerie Clark. Hello, Valerie. How Hi, are how you? Are you? Good, thank Good to you. see you. And you are with the Eye Clinic and Laser Institute. That's correct. I and am, we yes. were we were talking about this because you're in multiple locations throughout Brevard County. You have four different locations. We're going to go into all that, but first I want to ask you a little bit about uh, you and your background and how you came to be in the eye eye clinic and be working with that group in getting the word out about the good things that you guys are doing. Well, thank you. Um, I started here in Brevard County working for a durable medical equipment company back in 2007. Um, and I did that for a few years selling respiratory products, getting to know the medical community. Um, and then I morphed that job into um, home care sales, which I really, really enjoyed. And I did that for over six years with a very small mom and pop company in town. Um, unfortunately, that company was purchased right. and it was time for me to move along after that. So um, after you know dabbling at a few different um, type of medical sales jobs, I found this. Um, I like creativity and so this has a little more of a marketing spin um, yeah. versus um, just sales. Right, right. Um, but I have all the contacts that right. I've made over all the years. Right. So. Well, and clearly you have quite a background in you. So you understand all the issues that seniors are going through because of your background, both both, as you said, with durable medical equipment and then also, you know, in working with seniors in their homes. So you really have the benefit. You bring a lot to the table because you really understand what seniors go through. And that get, puts you in a unique position position to be able to help them when it comes to thinking about eye health and eye care and things like that. So it's probably opened up a whole nother level for you in terms of, of creating value so that people know about the good services that you guys do there at the Eye Clinic and Laser Institute. Tell me a little bit about all the range of services because you guys really are full service. So you, you cover everything from, from A to Z with it, right? That's correct. Um, we are a complete eye care center so we have opticians licensed opticians so you can have your contact lenses and glasses taken care of with us um, and then we have three medical doctors um, ophthalmologists and they perform surgeries cataract glaucoma um, LASIK, um, yep. we have bladeless laser cataract surgery as an right. option. Um, so really the full gamut from surgery down to contact lenses. So this can start as simple as somebody coming and saying, I think I need to get my prescription updated and get better glasses or something. Correct. But then, as I understand, part of the benefit is if somebody gets in there, they're having the eye exam, there's more complicated issues, you're able to work with that all in-house. That's correct. That's correct. And we have multiple locations, as you mentioned. So... Um, you know, we're really convenient for wherever you live in Brevard County. Yeah, where are your locations? I know you said Merritt Island. And yes, Merritt Island is our main location, uh -huh. and Dr. Agarwal has owned Eye Clinic and Laser Institute since 1980. Wow. Um, so he's been there for a long sure. time. Um, we also have a new location in Port St. John. Okay. Um, that just opened up at the beginning of March. And then we moved from Vieira to Sun Tree okay. back in August. Um, and that's in the Medical City Plaza. And we also have one here in West Melbourne um, on South Wickham. So you really have everything from Central Brevard to North Brevard well covered. And even from Palm Bay, it's not much of True. a hook to get up, exactly. up to here. We're not too far past that. So somebody could come to whatever location is convenient with them, just get established, and then start working. But particularly with seniors, you had mentioned that it can be very valuable, particularly, for example, people with diabetes and things like that. It becomes important for them to get a more... Uh, advanced look at what's going on to be sure everything is safe. Is that right? Correct. Correct. That that type of patient, especially somebody with diabetes, should have an annual eye exam, a complete full exam, dilated eyes, and um, and that way it allows us to monitor them over a course of time. So if we start to see any changes, we can get on top of it before it becomes an issue. So I know your work is getting the information out into the community so people are aware of the services that you guys do. What are some of the tools that you find are helpful in getting uh, people educated as to the benefit of what, what you guys are able to offer? Well, our, our physicians actually really enjoy community education. So as often as I can, I try to sign them up to provide seminars and lectures with senior centers or at nursing facilities, um, pretty much 
anywhere I can find the right. venue right. Um, for them to do that type of education. Something like today, you know, yes. being at this expo, um, it's a great way to see a lot of seniors in a short amount of time right. and get all of our information out there. Um, I also like to advertise in the papers, and we're starting sure. to try to do some more social media. Sure. We'd like people to like us on Facebook and Absolutely. leave reviews on Google and Yelp and whatnot. So. Well, you've been around for, let's see, you said 1980, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So so this is like uh, terrible with the math, but I mean, you guys, <laughs> you guys have been here for quite Quite a few years doing this and have really established a reputation for doing this with excellence how do you convey that to people like if somebody says okay I could go down to you know whatever local thing in the mall somebody might say well but it might behoove you to take the extra step and come over which just as convenient because there's four locations why would somebody say you know or what would you say to somebody and say this is why this would really be a value for you I guess what I would say there is that we have ophthalmologists, which are medical doctors, and so there's a greater depth of knowledge when it comes to you know all the different things right. that they check. Um, we were talking to somebody today about how her physician, her ophthalmologist, found um, a carotid artery issue. Oh wow! And saved her life. Wow! <laughs> so wow. so there's so many more things that are involved right. then you know you could get it just a walk-in mall sure. situation now before the cameras were rolling we were also talking about the fact that you guys are really you're adept at treating not just seniors but you're really used to seeing entire families you said everybody mm -hmm. from grade school children to seniors yep. and i'll bet a lot of times you know particularly that you're going to see a multi-generational family in fact it's amazing actually some of the statistics in brevard we like to quote is that one out of two people in Brevard, by AARP definition, is a senior, meaning mm -hmm. they're 50 plus. Right. And then one out of four people is actually over the age of 65. So depending on which, which, which version of senior you want to call it, there's still a lot of seniors when you come down to Brevard County. But one of the interesting statistics was the number of parents over or grandparents I guess it would probably be over 65 who are raising school age children so I bet you see a lot of people coming in that are interesting family blends but they all have the same thing they want to make sure they're having good vision yes that's true and I'm going to fall into that category as I've had some children later in life so that will be me someday but that's yes, good yes. that's good that's it no <laughs> it's a good thing so um, with helping seniors I was going to ask we try to come to these kind of events and we're really blessed to be here because this is has been a phenomenal event today lots of people here but one of our objectives is to get out in the community and reach people because you know there's a there is the statement People perish for the lack of knowledge. A lot of times they're just one point of information away from a solution that's really going to assist them. And so we find it's really helpful to get out here and meet people one-on-one. -on -one. And I was going to ask you for what the value you guys find for being at community events like this. What, what's, what's helpful for you guys? I think just what you said, the one-on-one -on -one conversations. Um, you know, I go into senior centers or other physicians' offices, and, you know, I have opportunity to talk to people. But... But here they come with questions, sure. and I actually brought one of our technicians along okay. so that she could answer sure. clinical. Um, one of our physicians stopped by over the lunch hour. Oh, wow. Um, so it just gives us an opportunity to be personal with them and right. you know, answer questions for them. And oh, that's good. That's good. So um, with helping seniors, we actually are a not-for-profit organization. So we do. there's actually three things that we do. We were founded by... A gentleman named Joe Steckler. Joe is a retired Navy captain. He retired. Uh, his last command in the Navy was he managed the Navy's retirement home in Gulfport, Mississippi. He had something like 550 um, different uh, residents under his care there. And they had a hospital. It was like the full deal. So he retires from the Navy. Can't stand being retired. Comes back to Florida and uh, starts the Alzheimer's Foundation because he has a serious passion for seniors. So after he got that, built Joe's Clubs, all those things, he begins another organization called Helping Seniors of Brevard because he's a carry. He's people, not the only issue that we have is not necessarily with memory, but we have other issues and we got to address them for seniors because they need to get a place for information. So we really focus on doing that. And one of the questions I have for you is just, you know, what are the ways that we can work together to get good information out to seniors of like tips and things that they, you mentioned you're doing a lot with social media. We should find ways to work together to get information out to seniors that are going to have good value for them and improve the quality of their lives. 
Yes, and you know, I, I was asking a lot of people today actually about the social media thing, and do you go on Facebook? And sure. I got mixed mixed um, answers there. You know, um, even I fumble around you know, with sure. social media a little bit. Sure. Um, give the sure. you know computer to my 16 year old, and right. you know I get it. we're good. But um, but yeah, so it's kind of a mixed bag with that, um, which is why, like I said, we try to cover across the board with it, it's advertising. A, it's a funny thing. Multimedia, you know, Joe Joe Steckler has done columns in almost every newspaper. Uh, we're in Hometown News a couple of times a month. We're in the Senior Scene Magazine and always trying to, uh, Joe, and Spotlight Magazine. There's all kinds of uh, Aldea Today, Ebony News Today, Space Coast uh, Daily, all these different places. They like to pick up Joe's articles because he's always talking about stuff of relevance to seniors. And that's the point is people will be touched by something along the way. And there are a lot of the growing number of people using social media. And so there's a very strong presence for us there, too. But that's why we do the TV. That's why we do the radio and all those different things to get the word out. And it's really good to hear about the work that you guys are doing, helping seniors get better vision and safe, better vision. That's really part of it as well, it's, isn't it's, it? definitely true so, so how would people best get in touch with you is there a website that they should visit we do have a website um, it's www.youreyeclinic.com uh -huh. um, again we have a page on Facebook yeah and um, what's that page do you remember off the I don't I'm sorry okay but if you just go into the search bar and type in we'll eye clinic and it. laser Institute it will pop up that sounds wonderful <laughs> um, the one thing mm -hmm. I didn't mention and I don't want to forget to mention sure. is that when patients do surgery with our physicians mm -hmm. it's done in our Merritt Island ambulatory surgery okay. center we have our own surgery center and on surgery day if they don't have a ride a spouse a friend mm -hmm. somebody that's able to get them there and home we offer a free service for that oh so you can get them to the surgery and probably more importantly after the surgery so yeah. everything is safe and correct with that that's yeah. good to know yeah yeah i think that's really important so oh good well valerie i sure do appreciate you taking the time to sit with us today and and share a little bit about what you guys do and thanks for being part of helping seniors no problem thank you for All asking right. me thank you mm -hmm. I'm Joe Steckler. Thank you for joining our program today. I'd like to remind you that our senior information line is available to you at 321-473-7770. There you can get help and direction that could be helpful for your specific situation or circumstances. The work of helping seniors is very important, but we can't do it alone. That is why our sponsors here in Brevard County are so important. I'd like to thank our many area sponsors, businesses and medical providers who support the mission of helping seniors that help us carry the cost of our media efforts. If you'd like to join us either as a business partner or simply donate as an individual, we would welcome your call at 321-473-7770. You're always welcome to visit our website at www.helpingseniorsofbrevard.org. Thanks so much for your help. It does make a difference.